Okay, so let's talk about TikTok for a moment, okay? Um, you're doing all right. You're doing good. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good? It don't. Hey, we gonna have our bad. We gonna have some bad days, but you know it gets. Sometimes it get better. <laughs> Sometimes when it don't get better, baby, it's designed to make you stronger. You know, you learn how to mount up 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 under that pressure. You understand what I'm saying? It elevates you to the next level. But you know what? Through it all, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. But let's talk about TikTok for a moment. Okay, now, I happen to enjoy TikTok. TikTok allows, TikTok allows me to express myself on a different level, on a different platform, on a broader range than any other social media site that I have been on. Now, I haven't tried them all, but uh, out of Instagram, out of uh, Facebook, and um, YouTube, which is a lot of everything, um, I enjoy TikTok. I enjoy TikTok. But I want to talk to you, even though I don't understand all of the political aspects that our government go through trying to keep us safe. Uh, and I dare not try to tap into that because uh, that's not the expertise that God gave me, at least not now. Not on all the conditions, you know, they hold us to on a certain standard. You know, I can understand what our government is saying. I can understand what TikTok is saying. But um, my thing is this. What gives you the right to um, try to deceive somebody and you you deceiving us? That You know what I'm saying? Y'all been deceiving us for a long time, you know. So just like I'm pretty sure governments in other nations and other areas, you know, states have deceived their uh, their people. You know, so um, like I said, I have to enjoy TikTok. Uh, it allows me to get on here and express myself on a different kind of level, even though they mistreat me a couple of times because they really don't understand I'm trying to be informational or either having a, a dialogue about a certain issue when I spread a certain kind of content. I know I don't know if the people have took that into consideration when some of us spread content. You know, some people spread stuff for comedy. Uh, people take it literal. Some people spread stuff because of relationships. People take it literal. Some people spread stuff for health awareness. Some people take it literal. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe it's something that they're suffering from. Or maybe they just don't like you. Or maybe they see that video about to go viral and they're going to have to pay you for it. And they be like, you know what? Let's go on and hit them with it. Let's find something about race. Let's find something about color. Let's find something about um safety, security, whatever. Because we, Let's find something so we don't have to pay them, you know, but like the lady said, Miss Clark. But anyway, you know, like I said earlier, even though sometimes, you know, I done got community violation stuff for stuff that, you know, it was my content that I put together and it was just for people to have an open dialogue, be able to communicate. Because we got to get, we. I mean, we can try to cover up stuff all we want to, but it, it has to get to a place to where we got to put this stuff on the table and be able to communicate and be okay at the end of the day. Keep, you can keep burying stuff all you want to. It's like a seed. You bury it. It's going to come back up. The rain going to wash it. The storm going to move it. You going to dig it up. Something going to happen. The, the sun going to make it rise up. It's going to keep coming back up until you're able to have a comfortable dialogue about it. So a lot of my issues, they were like suppressed. Or they were they 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 were like community guideline violations, and it was just information for us to have a conversation about you know our behavior, the way we react, the way we respond to certain kind of uh dialogue content. You understand what I'm saying? We gotta at some point like we're expecting TikTok to be transparent, like TikTok is expecting us to be transparent, like Congress is expecting TikTok to be transparent. At the same time, we all gotta be transparent. Because as the uh, poet John Dunn said, you know what I'm saying? No man is an island of his own. Uh-uh. We are all a piece of the island. We represent the entire island. Even though sometimes we might not be attached to some, time, to some things. You know what I'm saying? It's some organs in my body I don't get a chance to see. But they work for me. You get what I'm saying? They work for me. I don't get a chance to see them. But I can see you looking with my eyes. I see my nose. I see my mouth. I see my hands moving. I see this part of me. I see a necklace that I got on. But a lot of stuff on the inside of me I can't see. And even though I can't see it, that does not mean that it's not working. You see what I'm saying? So even if you cut something off, that don't mean it ain't working for you. You understand what I'm saying? So, but yeah, they, they don't hit me with a few, ooh, quite a few community guidelines, restrictions. Account warning. Next thing you do, you might be shut down. And I'm saying, if we're if you're giving us an opportunity to express ourselves to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying. I ain't saying target nobody, and they you know take their life. What I'm saying is, we gotta get to the point. We we gotta get to the point where we're able to have conversations about uncomfortable conversations rather than racist 
or informational rather than spreading hate speech or informational rather than, you know, thinking about, you know, um, making somebody come on to my views. Even though I know some people think like me and uh, see things the way that I see them, and I don't get on here to incite no riot or anything, you know, I, I don't do that kind of stuff. I get on here to try to be honest, you know, with the gift God has given me to the best of my ability according to the word of God that God has given me. And with that being said, even though I kind of got mistreated a couple of times with them community guidelines violations, uh, but I can let that go because, you know, Congress already made up for that, you know, the way they... You know what? Just, uh, let, let's just get to the point. The point is this. How can, I don't know how many people sitting up on that committee just target one person? I mean, I, I mean, if you got all these different people on your committee representing different states, don't you think I need to bring my team up in there? My, my, my financial team, my, um, my uh, programming team, uh, my um, marketing team. I need to bring out, as a CEO, I think I need to bring all these people up in here. So when you got specific questions regarding race, religion, creed, color, uh, disability, finances, safety, security, uh, software, uh, algorithms, um, what else? Come on. Bring them on. What, 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 what else we talking about here? CCP, bike dance. Look, I mean, if you got them kind of questions, I got them kind of people. <laughs> I said, if you got them kind of questions and I'm the CEO, now, now don't expect me as the CEO of TikTok to know everything. Because I'm going to tell you something. I don't know everything at all times. You know, they even guard the president, baby. It's only certain information they get him, okay? Don't you know I'm guarded? As a CEO of TikTok, I don't know everything, so that's why I brought my people with me. In the United States and any other government who interviewing people by themselves, if it ain't no personal thing where you know they done this and you asking them questions on something they done, you need to make sure them people, TikTok team should have been able to come. That CEO team, his whole team should have been able to come up there. You know what I'm saying? That's transparency. All of them Instead of just that CEO, should have been held accountable. I mean, when, when the president up there, you know, he doing his thing, you know, he got his whole team. Don't they hold Congress, the Senate, and the House of Representatives? You know, don't they hold them liable? Why? Because they represent the people from where they live, right? Okay, so as a CEO of a company, I think you need to be able to bring in all your strategists, your analysts, analytics, whatever. Bring out, Bring all your people in. So if they got certain kind of questions, you'd be like, I'm going to point that to Mark. Sarah, that's your category. You know? Yeah, we talk about all this stuff in the meeting, but guess what? Um, Baby, you got me up here like I'm, I'm the whole team. I ain't the whole team. If I'm the whole team, I don't know how to delegate. So as a CEO, I need you to remember that. I mean, because, baby, we need to get everybody here. I mean, uh, each one build in a day. <laughs> okay, I ain't do the whole thing by myself. Come on now, I'm just only one person up here. If you need some answers, I got some people. <laughs> I said, if you need some answers, baby, I got some people. I got some people, because right now, I ain't them people. You know, I represent TikTok. I represent TikTok as the CEO, but come on now. Let my people speak. I got some, ain't your people up there. I, look at all your all your people up there. It's just me. My people gotta sit back here and be quiet. They they gotta send me something real quick on the notes to say, hey, he it is right here. No, 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 no. Uh-uh uh-uh. I need all my people over here. You got your committee? Make room for my committee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, huh? Yeah, him right there. Yeah. Don, go get that right there. That's for you, Don. Let's get that. Elizabeth, where you at, girl? Come on out here. We need to talk about education. We need to talk about this 13 through 17 on TikTok. Oh, what's that age range? I mean, how do we ingrow people in on TikTok? Hey, where you at, Lisa? Come on here. We we need to talk about how my kids can get on TikTok if uh <laughs> they get under my account. <laughs> and cheat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If I really want my kids on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? They can be up on TikTok under my account. Wait, how you think these kids getting on TikTok? <laughs> they parents making these accounts. And you want me to just be transparent? Where's the parental accountability? Where you at when your child on TikTok? Huh? You want to put, come on here. Come on here. A uh, uh, fresh thing. Where you at, girl? Come on, I need you to talk to the parents about this right here because they holding, they holding us accountable for everything here. They trying to say it's our fault the reason why kids out there like that. Ain't these they kids? I thought that. Ain't these they kids? They, these are their kids. These are their kids. My children are in Singapore. <laughs> they cannot be on TikTok. So why am I here answering for them? Why are, you, why are your children on TikTok? Where are you, parents? 
It's 7 o'clock. <laughs> Where are you? Your child is on TikTok. Parents, it's 8 a.m. Parents, it's 12 in the morning. Parents, it's 3 in the morning when demons are present. Where are you? Your child is on TikTok. Did you forget to take their device? See, because Congress trying to make it seem like it's all TikTok fault. Come on, parents. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You, you got to take something up in this now. You got to take accountability too. Come on now. Come on. I, I would be wrong if I stood up there and blamed TikTok for everything. If you went ahead and sister my chat, no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> the devil's slick, baby. He'll expose your kids to some stuff you ain't going to never know nothing about. You know, because he done expose you. Now, if you want to ask me some of them big questions like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, show me the people, I'm going to show you the people. Because uh, if I got my people, ain't too many questions I got to answer on my own. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, regulations? Okay. But I ain't going to know them all now. Rules? I can, I, we can talk about a few of them, but um, if I ain't got it on record, we're going to have to get back to you, okay? We might get back to you, all right? Because you don't kind of mistreated me right here. You know, special Texas talking about uh, we represent freedom and transparency and all that kind of stuff right there. But, um, man, it was some people, some hostile people. It was some hostile people. Who that lady who looked like Kayla Clarkson? Who, who what, Cle, what her name? Clemens? Clement? Something? Clam? Something? Baby, she look like Kelly Clarkson to me. When Kelly gained all that weight, she look like she been in a beauty pageant too. She very beautiful. Okay, don't don't get me wrong now. Don't think I'm talking about nobody weight. I ain't trying to shame nobody. I'm just saying she look like Kelly to me. It was quite a few. It was quite a few people. That man who talked about that software. Baby, I was so lost in the sauce. <laughs> if you'd ask me for the recipe, I'd be like, "What recipe? I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even know. I don't know nothing about that right there, man." That, Congress got some smart people up there. They think they smart. They ain't smart than God. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? What's that other man's name? Oh, the, oh that man who talked about TikTok tapping too. Really? God didn't call your number? He can't, he gave his account 15 more years. Um, uh, The lady from New York, I really liked her, Miss Clark. Because I had, I had a feeling TikTok were doing that. I had a feeling they were doing that. That's why sometimes the Holy Spirit would tell me, don't you put no black up in there. Don't hashtag black nothing. You finna, you finna get shot down. You finna get shut down. You you put black in there, you finna get shut down. Cause it's becoming a racial issue. And that ain't what be that ain't what we be saying. You know what I'm saying? So it's like other people represent, you know it ain't number one race, right? The human race. Just like other people represent their skin color. We just be representing our skin color sometimes being when your people been treated so bad for so long and they still trying to keep you so low and God just keep Putting you in the ground, burying you, you keep coming up a beautiful flower, and they pluck you, and they be like, well, I really do that. You know why you did it. You know you had to kill him because you needed me. Yeah, you know, I ain't talking about dead for real. Now, don't nobody go out here killing nobody now because we had a problem with that in Congress, too. That's what I'm saying. How is these people on TikTok? I, 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 it's supposed to be for entertainment, y'all. You don't supposed to do it for real. It's just, it's entertainment. That's why we love on you. Me? I'm, I, I, babe, I'm an inspirational person. I, I motivate you, babe. I'm, I'm, baby, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you what you do. If you, if you don't enjoy what people say about you, turn your comments off. You understand what I'm saying? If you can't taste stuff, turn your comments off. If you post stuff, okay? Cause people can't agree with you without you having a dialogue back and forth with them. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get back to the CEO. Chu did a pretty good job, man. I, I probably would have walked out. You hear me? <laughs> TikTok, bike dance, you would have fired me. I probably would have walked out, you know. And y'all know we didn't come up in that mean really prepared, you know. We 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 came up in there with what we knew. Man, did you see him going back to his notes like a computer a computer? I um, mean, you know, we follow safety very we take safety issues very carefully. Uh, I am sorry to hear that about that. Let me get back to you. I'm gonna tell you something. They knew hey, they educated him on that thing. You understand what I'm saying? They educated him. This thing about to go off. Wow, I'm still talking. But anyway, um, he did a pretty good job. I probably would have walked out, got fired, you know what I'm saying, because I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing, because there was a whole lot of pressure. He was up under, baby. Baby, he was up under some pressure. He was under pressure. So, hey, let me bring my team. <laughs> we can do it parallel.